What's up guys, the only ninja wearing aviators and a superman hat bringing you another episode on the modern ninja channel. Now, I have been talking about doing a kind of a weapons uh, showcase video where I showcase a lot of my um, a lot of my weapons and how, you know, how I've got them, the stories behind them. So, this is finally it. This is the episode where we jump into it. And guys, let me tell you, I have so much, I have so much to go over. So, without further ado, let's get this started. All right, so I have a lot of weapons to go over. So, let's uh, start at the beginning, I think. So, this is my first weapon. Well, one of my two first weapons. Uh, this is my bow stop, as you've seen in a lot of my recent videos. Uh, this is the one that I've taught in most of my videos. Actually, there's only a couple where I use my other staff, uh, which I'll go into later. But this has been the first weapon I've ever received. This is the first uh, back in, I think I want to say 2007, 2007 or 2006, somewhere around there. Uh, my parents, because I was a kid, uh, bought me my first bow staff. And this is the, the longest weapon I've had in my possession since then. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, bleeding and crying and sweating over this bow staff, and I still do to this day. It still uh, helps me get better. So this is probably my favorite weapon, um, at least one of my favorite weapons in my arsenal, and that is this bow staff. If you want to see a closer, closer picture of it, you can see the wear and tear of the just the sun bleaching. <laughs> like all of that is just sun bleaching because whether it's been in my car or out training. Uh, it just over time that sun bleed because it used to be like all somewhere around here like that color But yeah, that sun over over the years has taken a toll on it now Along with the bow staff. I also had these short sticks now Obviously the tape is kind of new you you guys have seen me uh, Wrap this part of the tape and this part of the tape is relatively new probably only a couple years old but again these are also some of the very oldest weapons I have and uh, I plan on doing a lot more uh, short stick tutorials or maybe desk will do them whichever one but hopefully these will get a lot more use out of them before they break I know it's lasted quite a long time underneath the tape is actually um, frays of wood where it was splintering and so I had to tape it up so it wouldn't completely snap so yeah this these are incredibly long-lasting uh, pieces <laughs> of weaponry right here. Now, next I have my very first bladed weapon. Back when I was probably in eighth grade uh, is when I I was allowed to buy my first knife. This is gonna be that knife. It's, ooh, it's old and dirty and uh, needs to be worked on and cleaned and all that fun stuff. But this is it, this is the first one. And so, um, the, this is the first of many bladed objects in my possession and that's why this is so special it's not you know a unique knife I mean the grips fine it needs to be cleaned off and polished but I don't touch this knife almost ever just because this is the first one this is what started me on collecting weapons essentially uh, especially bladed weapons so that's what this one is all right next we have um, a little story I used to do uh, a lot of Comic Con and anime convention shows for martial arts with uh, the Rebellion crew. That's kind of how we got together, how we started. And this is the lightsaber, at least one of the lightsabers. I think it's dead right now. We need to replace them. That uh, we started using on stage for, you know, uh, fights and lightsaber fights and stuff like that. We used to have fight scenes where it was hand to hand, weapon showcases, you know, all that fun stuff, all with. Uh, these weapons and you know other weapons that we've had so these were mine it was two uh, short single blade lightsabers or you can combine it for a saber <clears throat> for a saber staff right now this one's broken uh, because um, Wyatt one of those rebels broke it so if Wyatt if you're watching this you know but <laughs> uh, that's what these are and during one of those conventions where we were performing I actually bought uh, this knife right here. Now, this one is pretty special because simply because it came with a little blade on the side, but it was really special because this knife, although it was great and I've gotten many, 
many great uses out of it and I actually again need to clean it again but this uh, knife in particular is an awkward level this knife in particular has a uh, a hidden blade in the back of it so you don't actually have to unsheath the whole knife if you were you know attacked or jumped or something like that you don't have to you can just take the, the handle part out and use this in with your uh, with your fists to enhance your you know your technique so you can hide it and then we need to bang pull it out and you can hide it behind so you, no one can see and then pull it out when you need to and so that's why I like this knife so much that's why I keep I always keep something with me whether I'm driving and you know in the car on my own everywhere so uh, I'm always you know prepared and never you know not ready so this is honestly the one I often keep in my car just because it's so useful and has so many different uses um, past you know self-defense whether it's you know cutting simple things or uh, if I was lost somewhere and needed to cut through trees or whatever it is that knife can get you can get me there now the next one is a relatively new one uh, comes with this nice uh, shoulder strap uh, and it also comes with the small, the same basically, these basically the uh, throwing daggers. But this is going to be—I don't want to call it a sword because it's kind of short for a traditional sword. It's more of a, of a thin machete. But this is going to be the next blade, and this is a very sharp blade. I'm holding it uh, very delicately just because I don't want to cut myself on it. Um, this is probably one of my probably top five sharpest items in my possession right now. Has a nice uh, normal grip, nothing too fancy, just a little grip there, and a nice hook at the bottom. So I can either hook it to like my belt if I needed to, hook it to a chain, whatever that is. But it's not going to be super long, as you can see. It's only as long as my as my forearm and my hand right here. Most swords that I have will go. Uh, the blade will will go from my shoulder. To my wrist and this one <laughs> does not do that at all and so uh, I, this isn't a tricking sword though no hang on I'm recording can you go inside sorry about that random cut so this is just gonna be a nice um, protective sword that I have and I also keep with me on in certain areas just depending on you know what's what and when I'm doing and where I'm going and stuff like that but this is definitely not a sword that I would play with and practice with simply because it is sharp and it is very dangerous and these are actually the last weapons on the list they're actually not uh, very useful they are very much decorative swords they're half tang swords or what I call half tang tang swords so the blade does not go all the way through the shaft it just connects about like half an inch into the to the handle so it's not a very sturdy sword but it is a decorative sword that I love uh, and actually it was a uh, congratulations gift for winning a grand champion uh, grand championship trophy thank you guys for watching this video I know it was kind of weird it might have been kind of weird to see me like not in the normal structure but uh, if you want to see more about this uh, weapon stuff, I wasn't able to show you all of them. There's some that I want to keep secret just because they're still actively my current self-defense items and some of them are more hidden <laughs> than others. And so I didn't want to show you all of it, uh, but if you want to know more about any of these weapons or tutorials about specific types of weapons, uh, that I have here or even that I don't have yet let me know down in the comments so that I can work on that uh, and if you have a very specific weapon that you want me to do that I don't have then you know sending me that weapon isn't necessarily a bad thing just saying so with all that said I hope you guys enjoyed my name is DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out